Hi everyone and welcome back to Brown Beautiful. So today I am doing my first ever favorites video. This is September so I am going to do my August favorites. September is my birthday month so I'm feeling exceptionally inspired to do this favorites video. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with skincare. My favorite skincare product at the moment is Valida Skin Food. Uh, now this is something that's very similar in its usage uh, to the um, rose salve that I use from CO Bigelow. You can put it on your elbows or any dry patches, your cuticles, you know, your lips, your cheeks, just to give you a little bit of a highlight. But that one is, isn't is as rich as this is. Uh, the Valida Skin Food is something I got from the French pharmacy. Um, you know, if I was ever to buy it in the US, I would have to pay twice the amount that I paid at the French pharmacy. As you can see, it's a super rich, thick cream. And what I do is, I do put it on my elbows or my dry skin. Mostly, I put it on my lips every night before I go to bed. Because as you know, I'm a huge fan of lip creams and liquid lipsticks. And I feel like when I put this on and, um, you know, wake up the next day, uh, all the dry skin kind of is ready to flake off and my lips feel absolutely nourished and moist and moisturized so there's no dryness there if you know what I mean so I haven't got any bruises around my lips even in the winter because I was using this quite religiously almost every night. Valida Skin Food is definitely something I would recommend to anybody. Um, you know, this lasts forever. I am going to leave the link of where you can get this in the description box. But if you can get to a French pharmacy or if you know someone, you have family there like I do, then this becomes so much easier because you can just get a stock of it, you know, uh, for a year. And then, well, you know, you're set. My second skincare favorite is, is the Body Shop Vitamin C Instant Glow Enhancer. I'd ordered tons of products from the Body Shop, like, you know, um, bath gels and body lotions, which is usually what I order from the Body Shop anyway. But this I got as a sample with that whole package. It's got like a peachy, orangey color, but I didn't really notice you know my face like glowing or anything i've always used it as you've probably seen mixed with ombre release which is my favorite moisturizer i'm not even talking about it because i talk about it in every single video this on its own is quite dry it's almost like a primer you know it's quite tacky but when you use it with ombre release it sits really well on the skin i've never had any skin irritations or anything but my friends have definitely noticed an improvement in my skin uh, especially when i don't have makeup on which is well all the time when I'm not doing videos, if I'm not going out, I actually don't apply a lot of makeup. Um, so I don't know if it really works, but I have been using it non stop, and you know, I really liked the smell of it. It smells so citrusy, like you know, vitamin C and everything. Just the fact that it's got vitamin C makes me want to use it. But to be honest, everyone else has noticed the difference, but I haven't noticed any difference at all. So I don't know but I really like it and I'm going to use all of it but I don't know if I'm going to buy it you know when it's done. So skincare is done and I'm going to talk about uh, my makeup. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is my foundation. If you've seen uh, my Slay the Trend video which was like two videos ago uh, then you'll know that I did not own a drugstore foundation but now I do. Uh, and it is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. I'm ashamed to say that I had never heard of this and I got a coupon from uh, Walgreens Pharmacy. I went and got this and I got two actually. I got the 09 which is a tan and I got the 07 because you know you couldn't try it over there and I wasn't sure which one it would be so I just like the I like the sound of tan so I got it and I'm so glad I did. Until I went for my vacation, the 07 worked beautifully for me but when I got back from my vacation, I was so deeply tanned that I needed to use the 09. Now this is the only color that suits my skin. Uh, so what I do is I use this one, the Milani foundation with my Makeup Forever HD foundation. I've got it on right now and it is perfect for my skin tone at the moment. It is the best foundation ever for a drugstore product. It was like $8 with a coupon and otherwise it's like about $10 or something. So this is an absolute steal. This is uh, the cheapest foundation I own but I also think this is like 
the perfect color I own. I mean, I can actually get away with wearing just this and nothing else. I just do the mixing because uh, of my skin and because I don't know, I just like mixing uh, foundations. So, you know, I like the texture that you get when you mix like two foundations but otherwise this one is perfect you just need the tiniest bit of the foundation the tiniest bit of concealer and you are set so i would totally definitely recommend the milani two-in-one foundation conceal and perfect the second foundation i want to talk about is the josie moran um organ matchmaker serum foundation now these are self-adjusting so i've got it in the medium dark and it comes on as completely white as you can see that's it but then as you mix it it starts to adjust you can feel a little bit of a grainy element there and then it mixes into your skin color and then there you have it and it has matched your skin color so this is like pretty good i mean technology wise this is supposed to correct visible signs of aging and smooth wrinkles and everything. I don't know if that's true. Uh, also, I just have the odd line here and there. I mean, you know, I don't really have a lot, so I'm not really sure about all that, if it's age-defying or anything. But it is very good coverage, and it is very wearable during the daytime. So if I don't want to faff around with a lot of brushes, and I don't want to, uh, you know, spend a lot of time on my makeup, because in the end, when you're using eye foundations, if you put this on with a brush it gives you uh you know brush or beauty blender it gives you better coverage and you know you can really build it and work it but you need time for that if you don't have time for it this one works and this is um something i usually wear in the daytime i've never actually worn it with a lot of heavy makeup or anything so i don't know how this works with like you know your glam makeup i'm sure you have to mix a couple of foundations to you know really get this going but on its own in the daytime if you want the lightest bit of coverage and still look like skin then this is really good i really like it it's expensive but well you know it's good quality my favorite eyeshadow of the month is a not new but in the month of august i use this palette a lot in fact i'm wearing it right now just these two shades here this is the seek palette in chaos number 577 i am going to do a tutorial with this one just using those two shades i've also used a mix of those two shades on my eyebrows just to define them a little bit because you know i don't like doing it too much but during my holiday i don't know what happened to me i was just doing my eyebrows and getting on my glam on and you know every day i had my war paint on one for my daytime look and one for my nighttime so i was like really really loving this palette because this was everything and more and it was a perfect foil uh, for my color tattoo eye chromes because i just put the chrome on and then i just put you know these transition shades or i'd make like a halo and they were gorgeous so if you can get your hands on sleek then you should definitely they're very affordable very very pigmented if you are into matte eyeshadows and that's the only thing that you know you feel like you want to wear then this is the only palette you'll need believe me it has the right amount of you know neutrals and then some pops of color actually a lot of pops of color and i really really love it i mean look at that khaki i've used all of them but you just need the tiniest amount so it looks like you haven't even touched them believe me like you'll never find any other eyeshadow palette in the range of like 10 to 14 dollars that is this a pigmented this long lasting so these are my favorite lip colors at the moment they're all anastasia beverly hills these are not cheap but they are very very pigmented and i used them on a client recently and she absolutely loved them i of course use like two or three layers for her and um these are absolutely my favorite lip colors at the moment this one is the vintage i'm wearing this one right now and then on uh, this is crush uh i have worn this in other videos i think or at least in my photos but i used crush a lot to give the ombre effect for all my lip colors i can do this one right now and you just pop your lips 
and you have the ombre effect so crush is definitely this beautiful color i mean it's a very light nude so i would never wear it without like a lip liner i would give it some sort of shading for it to really stand out on my skin the third shade i love is the american doll this one is again anastasia beverly hills if you want new liquid lipsticks to try um, then these are a must like you should really give it a go uh, they stay put all day and all night you can eat like Indian food Pakistani food or whatever food that you like to eat and they'll stay on your lips so I totally recommend these lipsticks uh, if you can afford them if you want to splurge believe me I'm still a reeling uh, from the price tags of this one because if you aren't send these products and if you Pay for them then they can be extortionist especially if you want to buy you know seven or eight shades as I'm used to I bought ten of these so if you want to see swatches then do let me know and I can show them uh, to you in my next video or the video after that because the next video is going to be this look I think now that we're coming to the end of this this is perfect to introduce this is the makeup forever mist and fix 2 this was recommended by the makeup artist uh, at Sephora when I went there for one of my classes. I love taking these classes from time to time just to refresh myself and you know, because nobody is perfect and you just have to keep on learning something new every day. So he recommended this one so I kind of gave up on the Urban Decay one, dare I say it and I'm now I exclusively use uh, this one. It is so refreshing. Let me see if it has a smell because I can't seem to remember. Oh, it's very light and very fresh and um, you know, you just need the tiniest amount and it really makes your makeup last um, long and it also gives you this dewy, glowy kind of look. That's it from me. These are my August favourites. I've never done a favourites video before so please be kind. I don't know why, it's September, my birthday month so I'm a little bit more, you know, um, energetic and I wanted to try out doing a favorites video because I've seen loads of people doing it and it's so much fun um, so I just thought you know I should give it a go I've been a little bit distracted because my family is here visiting from India my mom and dad are here if I sound a little distracted then that's why and of course my son is right here and he is begging for my attention so I have to go so I hope that you like this video if you do have these products and you love them as much as I do then please share them in the comments uh, below and I would love to hear from you thank you so much for watching